according to Mike Michael Benson, boxing uh, writer, I would guess, don't know how credible he is, but um, no, according to the homie um, on Twitter, I linked this tweet, uh, link in the description, says that Demetrius Andrade and um, Sergei Shinshenko has a agree, have agreed to a fight. You know, the kicker is they don't know if HBO wants to pick up the fight or not. So we back. It's the Box Click and more. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the Lions Den Box community, LDBC. Shout out to YTBC and everybody in between. And it's crazy because this was a fight that apparently HBO was supposed to be pushing before. So I don't know if they, they on the line, they on the fence about picking up the fight or not. But they got three fights invested in Andrade. Um, I don't think they have anything invested in Shajanko. Shajanko was a, is a premier boxing champions fighter. But, you know, the end of the net last year, they just wanted Andrade to turn around and face um, Jazanko on the Billy Joe Saunders, David Lemieux card after beating Alantez Fox down. But Boo Boo said he was dealing with an injury or whatever. And um, so now talks have, you know, come back up. I was wondering, we did a video about what's going on with Boo Boo, and it looked like, um, you know, he's won fight Jazanko, you know. So he's going to try to, you know, prove himself and beat this guy. 2008 Olympian with only 12 victories. He got like 10 or 11 knockouts or something like that. And, you know, Boo Boo's showing that, you know, he's more than the fraud that we thought he was. And he's finally going to walk the plane. I understand why he didn't want to fight this guy or what was the uh, the talk about he didn't want to fight this guy in the beginning because this guy only got 12 fights, but he's the IBF number one. He wants to put himself in position for the Triple G Penelo winner. Um, why not fight the IBF mandatory because that belt is on the line and then you would have some say-so in if you could fight him or not. Or possibly at least get some step-aside money out the deal. We know, we know Andrade... Loves not to fight. And then what's better than uh, not fighting and getting paid not to fight? So, you know, so it makes sense for him to jump in this, jump in this fight. Um, I haven't seen a lot of Shajanko. I know he beat Torian Johnson. Uh, I know he's a 2008 Olympian. He's trained by Andre Rozier, same guy who trains Danny Jacobs. And they call him a technician. So, um, yeah, it's just, you know, you know, good Olympian versus good Olympian here. And, um, and Andre, uh, you know, time as a boxer there's a lot of fights we wanted to see that didn't happen he put out the jamel charlo fight and he put up on jamal charlo that fight didn't happen the Arizona not laura fight didn't didn't happen the matt corbar fight he passed up for the midway wbo title didn't happen um you know obviously he dismissed fighting danny jacobs that's not gonna happen i mean it's a it's a lot to be fulfilled in this guy's career and he got a lot of ground to make up and you know what better way into you know putting your bid in and being a mandatory to the canelo triple g winner in the rematch so um so, yeah, I think, you know, he could be in a great position. You know, he really can. And, you know, if he beats him, you know, cool. But it's funny how HBO, you know, at first they was pushing this fight to go down. And now it's whether they're going to pick it up or not. And this shouldn't even be a question. If it's really a question over HBO with Peter Nielsen running that is to pick up this fight, if that's really the question, then they need to just do away with, with HBO boxing because obviously they fucking retards. Um they're very, very dumb. Because how can you put on Kovalev versus the ignorant bum guy? But now I want to put on this fight. You know, see how they see how they do do American fighters, man. You know, they'll put on Kovalev versus a mismatch, but Andre versus the guy that's the IBF number one is the issue to put on. You know what I'm saying? They'll put on Danny Jacobs versus Sullick, you know, but it's an issue with Demetrius Andrade versus Sergey uh Jajanko. You know, you see how HBO rock. You know, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. They put on some of the most bummiest fights. And they only have three fights in the first half of this year already already made. Only three cards. I mean, only three cards. And then if you add the Saddam Ali, Lima Smith to be the Canelo Triple G2 follow-up fight, I mean, that didn't fight people excited for either. I like the fight, but I know people are not excited for it. And I believe Andrade and Jajanko will be a better fight than that. So now HBO is going to invest a three-fight deal in Andrade, and then he got a formidable opponent that he could be number one in the IBF. And potentially you could segue that into the Canelo Triple G winner at some point in the rematch. But now it's questions on if they want to buy the fight or not. Now if somebody pricing themselves out or whatever, or the price is too high, you know, I understand it. But at the end of the day, you just threw money at Kovalev for fighting a fucking bum two times in a row. Shavansky and his ignorant guy. Two Euro bums, you know. But you can't play Andrade and Shajanko. That's a good fight. That's really, really a good fight. And, you know, HBO ain't the network that should be passing up really, really good and entertaining fights because they haven't had any. Bill and Barrera was good, but that wasn't the main event. I mean, it was a good fight. You know, we got, you know, Cheeseburger Miller, Drew Baby Miller versus Johan Dunhaps. Who, who really cares about that fight? 
I mean, shit, they didn't get the Anthony Joshua Joseph Parker fight neither. So they hanging on by by a, a thread, some yarn. But they still want to be pickers and choosers when it comes to American fight. Now, this was Janko versus, um, you know, some Euro guy like Matt Corbyn. They probably picked the fight up and make it the main event. I'm trying to tell you guys, it's a biasness with, with HBO and American fighters. It really is. It's a disconnect there. They should just be the Euro Boxing Network. They should just move the HBO Sky, call it HBO Box Nation, and just broadcast, you know, European fighters. Because that's what they love to broadcast, and it's getting irritating. If they don't pick up this fight, man, you know, HBO is 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 dead B. They dead B on my TV. I don't even get HBO, man. You know what? Fuck HBO, man. If they don't pick this fight up. Peter Nelson is a, is a ding-dong, dumb bitch motherfucker, man. You know, he is that even if he pick up this fight and don't pick up the fight. He's one of the dumbest motherfuckers in boxing. And I, and I agree with Bob Aram on that. That motherfucker's a fool. This shouldn't even be a question. You should be getting this fight up. You don't got a lot of fights out there for HBO. You know, if they're going to put on these shitty ass cards, just don't show boxing no more. You know what I'm saying? Just kill it because this is a fight that's worthy to be put on that pedestal and be a main event or at least a co-feature, but really a main event. We gone.